as you can see from these Valentine's Day decorations, folks here were getting ready for the next holiday, but no Valentine's Day cards will be mailed from this post office, which closed without warning. Oh, it's closed. Some customers didn't even realize the Yantic post office closed indefinitely Monday night. So it is disappointing. Have you been coming here for a long time? I've kind of always come here for stamps, and the people are so nice. The U.S. Postal Service says a safety concern raised last week led to this emergency suspension. The building's owner says the safety reasons are unrelated to the building structure or grounds. But the Postal Service isn't saying why it suddenly closed, sending the 230 Yantic residents with post office boxes here to Basra. They said that things will get better when I asked today, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> Douglas Ray has been coming here for 39 years. You meet friends and neighbors here and you stand around chatting, you know, and, and uh, it, it's kind of sad to see that. It's very sad, actually. It feels like I lost a friend. <laughs> Honestly, we saw it. I get people from West Virginia, West Hartford. Bassam Salahi owns the Laziza Bakery and Market next door. He would like to see the post office reopen, but more for the residents than his business. We're here for five years. Uh, it doesn't worry me, but any clothes, any business clothes in Norway actually help the city, you know. And bus office is very essential. Even though folks will now have to drive a couple of miles away to pick up their mail in Basra, they won't have to change their mailing address just yet. On the scene in the Yantic section of Norwich, Tina Detell, News 8.